R E double T A N O M Y C E S. British fungus is what it means, literally, British fungus. Uh, a professor, a doctor, a scientist uh, back in the day by the name of uh, Cossini, Italian, um, discovered Britannomyces in a uh, sample of British beer. And uh, first strain, like classified, you know, known or whatever, um, so to say, to the science world was Britannomyces uh, Clausini, which is now beginning to be, it may fully be done yet, but uh, renamed to Anomalous. So the story of Brett grows, like it's, uh, it's out there, it's part of beer, it's always been part of beer, provides different things, cherry style attributes, barnyard attributes, um, acid, dryness, it does all kinds of things for us in beer. It's always been part of beer um, until we get into the American hyper sanitary clean processes and, and you know, German style, I guess, would fall in that line as well. But fortunately for us, we love it and uh, we put it in as much as we possibly can oh, around here. Yeah. Most of the time on purpose, sometimes not. <laughs> Sometimes that, those are the best ones. And as I say, sometimes there's beers that pop out of here that were like, shit, and then we go, shit. <laughs>、uh, this weird stigma, like in wine, you know, Brett's, oh, that, that's bad, that means you're infected, right?、Um, and, uh, that, that book,、uh, Farmhouse Sales,、uh, there's a quote in there that, that's resonated with me. This is not verbatim, but.、Um, If we have a product that、uh, has a lesser chance of getting infected, then we have made a lesser product. And that I just blew my mind. You know, and just、uh, my wife and I went to Belgium last year and just seeing some of the, their open fermentation techniques. It's literally just a pool. They pitch yeast in, ferment, let it go. It's wild as all get out. Phenomenal, fantastic. And they're not worried about it. But American breweries have. Especially the brewery I started at, striving to say, oh no, if you have bread in, you know, it's bad, you messed up, you did something wrong in the process. Oh,、well, this is just a wild yeast. It will,、uh, it, it, it does its thing, and at optimal temperatures and the perfect environment, man, makes some of the best beer I've ever had in my life. Like, there's a spectrum of flavors that are allowed inside of styles of beer that, that other things have contributed to that's allowable. And so becoming a better brewer also. Means you have to know how to manipulate your environment to try to make the best quality product. That's not right for a commercially available grocery store shelf. Right.、Um, and then just、uh, there, it is, you know, it's a little more difficult to manage in terms of sanitation, cleanliness.、Um, And、inside of a brewery, so it, it does add a fear factor. If you, if you have a lot of beers that you put out that are, you know, a standard flavor profile product, you introduce Brett into that process scope, line wise, tank wise, whatever it is, you're going to run a risk to change your branding. So, 100%. A lot of places, a lot of, you know, which they like, I'm not going to introduce it, that into our brewery. It is a lot easier to steer away from it for some people. No. Just, I don't want to mess with that beast. And、yeah, all it takes is one bad batch, and that's $70,000 down the drain, you know? Farmhouse, funky, horse blankety, like, I don't know, like, it, it's funk in your face. Cheesy, 100%. Uh, it's, it's wild. You, you pop, a, pop a bottle of brand new eyes, man, and it, it hits you in the face. It's a wild yeast. As well as some other yeast, have the ability to、um, digest, consume、um, different types of carbohydrate chains.、Um, so, wild yeast does that very easily. So, it, in its job, you think about being wild, it's like a wild dog animal, its job is to survive. So, wild yeast figures out and has figured out mechanisms to consume a certain type of carbohydrate, sugar element, and then Their metabolic process can shift and change to the next level, to the next level, to the next level to continue to try to live as long as possible.、But、its job is to continue to evolve and, and eat and chew things. But what happens when it does that is all those beautiful flavors. So it actually eats on 
uh, contributions from hops and the further breakdown of, of ingredients in your beer. It does other things too with time and, and aging that we fall in love with. And so you just find what you want that yeast to do inside of it. And you got to understand that like, it's a family of yeast that can do all kinds of things. There's multiple yeast inside the wild yeast family. Find the ones that work. We say medium here, so get them, give them the right medium, let them run that thing, let them chew it, give them the best case scenario and let them kill it. That's pretty nerdy. 